Usually in competition climbing, there's uh, three different disciplines. There's bouldering, lead, and speed. But in the Olympics, since they're only allowed to give out one medal for men and women, one gold, one uh, silver, one bronze, they have to do a combined format. So you have to be good in all three disciplines. So they're gonna divide, no, they're gonna multiply the points and the person with the least amount of points will win. So it's not about how many points you get, it's you want uh, as, as the, lowest score. the lowest score as possible. Okay. So if you have like one really bad score, it's not too bad. Like if you win two disciplines and you come 10th in uh, one, you'll have 10 in total. And if you, if you're like third in three, you'll Maybe be like... Maybe we should like start climbing and then like, we can talk about this like... No, we, can, we, can, we can talk about it. <laughs> Your head is like exploding. <laughs> I just came straight from straight from work, so I'm just kind of like. Uh, uh, Marta has a. She's working in a bank right now, so she should be good with numbers. But <laughs> yeah, but I, I was like. <laughs> multiply, divide. There's a good uh, slab of the week downstairs that I think you've never been able to do slab of the week. In yeah, a, just think, to emphasize that. <laughs> yeah, but I think this might be the first time that you you're able to do the, the slab of the week. Because okay. I've looked at the list, it was set yesterday, and the list is like one page long. And I've seen the holds, usually it's like pretty far between, like you have to jump and stuff. Okay. Uh, but this week, it looks like there's a lot of holds, so it's gonna suit you. Okay, so this one is uh, 7C+. Plus. It, it doesn't look so bad, actually. I mean, there's a lot of holds and stuff, but they're all pretty bad and they're all like facing the wrong way. So I think it's gonna be pretty hard. Oh, that's super weird. I just saw this hole too. I don't know what that's for. I think you're supposed to go out to this and then come in like this, but it feels, it feels easier just to go straight to this. I was super desperate actually, I thought I was gonna fall. It feels so heavy today. I've actually been training a little bit, like physical training lately, and I feel a little bit heavy. You've been working out a lot, I feel like, yeah. for the past few weeks. And yeah, that's a strange thing. Sometimes when I don't climb or train at all, that's when I feel the strongest because I feel so light. Speaking of uh, muscle, Marcus, can you feel my position right now? <laughs> this is really heavy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sitting in the most awkward position. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, we're done. Great, 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 great. <laughs> you just found this uh, yellow. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna try? It's basically a ladder, but it's a bit uh, physical since it's steep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we're just gonna try. A physical ladder. <laughs> a physical ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. Come on. Come on, Mata. Nice. Oh. Get your foot up. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh <laughs> ah, that's scary. Oh, oh that's scary. <laughs> that was almost a flash, though. <laughs> that was a very elegant fall too. <laughs> oh, so it was like spin? Yeah. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna try is this blue one. It's also B10, 70 plus. This is gonna be the crux. This, the 
the kind of strength you need for pockets is so different from crimps. Is there different? Is there like a proper form that you're supposed to hold it on, like with your? Just like you dead hang it like this. Okay. Like most other holds, I hold like this, like half crimp, 90 degrees. Even slopers, pinches, it's always like this. But pockets, it's like this. I think I'm gonna try with a heel, high heel hook instead. That was just too far. Do you know any of the people competing in the Olympics? Because you watched a few competitions with me. So you know some of the people. Do, I, do like, you want to predict who's going to win? If I want to predict who's yeah, going to win? Because you know some of the names, right? Uh, I don't know. I know like Adam Andra. Yeah. I feel like he has a very good chance. He's... I feel like that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty safe bet, That's actually. Hard. But I think it's always fun with the people that you don't know of, though. So yeah. I'm kind of hoping for like an underdog. What about you? Do you have any? people that you think? Uh, well, I think the same as you. Yeah. It's pretty... Yeah, I think Janja is going to win and I think Adam is going to win, but I'm ho also hoping for Jakob Schubert for the yeah, guys. Yeah, of course, of course. He's, uh, I think he has good chances of winning. This is only 7A. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Nice. That was a pretty hard 7A, I think. This is 7A as well. It looks uh, like a tricky last move. It's like covered with another hole on top, so it's just like a little slot you have to hit. Okay, 7B. It's also kind of like a World Cup bowler. That <laughs> was just very unexpected. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks really technical. 7A. This is like almost like a slab angle. That one 
was super nice actually. Do you have chalk in my face already? Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, also a slab 6A plus and I think it's gonna be good like preparation for you for the slab of the week. Okay. The main objective today for you. It looks a bit scary. I'm always really afraid of like uh, just falling and you know hitting my head on uh, a hold that's below. Well, slab pots. climbing is, uh, is scary, yeah. especially if you lead climbing, falling on slabs, Ooh, taking yeah. big falls where you feel like you're gonna hit something on the way down. Yeah. And it's the same with slabs, uh, like bouldering slabs, because that's usually where you hit your chin or your... I'm not... Yeah, yeah I I'm just gonna shouldn't. scare me right before. <laughs> I should probably shut up. Trust your feet now. Trust the scarpas. And scarpa we believe. Come on. I think you have to match your feet okay. and then get the right foot out. Oh no, you know what? That's actually oh. Is it scary? Oh yeah, maybe you can just lean in it. You just have to match it. You can do like a walk up, like a sneaky walk up match where you don't actually grab the hole that you're supposed to grab. Just Grab the side of it. Yeah, you just lean oh. the right hand out. Lean the yeah, and then just match with the other hand. Uh, yeah, and then the other hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Your first World Cup match. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> that was I, good. But that was definitely because of the. What do you call it? The bolt uh, hole? Yeah, but like you're allowed to use that. <laughs> I can? Okay. You're yeah, allowed nice. to use the, even in competitions, you're allowed to use that bolt hole, but you're not allowed to use the T-nut holes oh, on the wall. Okay, okay. And also on the volume, <laughs> so 6A plus uh, slab uh, flash, that's not <laughs> too bad. Yeah, it was a good cloud of dust. And Marcus is uh, getting his workout in <laughs> and just... <laughs> So I haven't been so active on YouTube lately and the uh, main reason for that is because I'm working on a book. I told you guys about this uh, in a previous video. It's been pretty hectic. Uh, Thor, the guy who's writing the book with me, he's uh, interviewed uh, me for like days at end the whole summer and he's interviewed like my family and my friends from back home. I guess it's going to be sort of like a, a biography thing and I'm, I know that I'm pretty young for making like a biography and I feel like it's it could it could be seen as like really self-centered to to make a biography this early but it's just more about like stories uh from my life and the travels and stuff it's not going to be like the highlights of my of my like climbing days it's going to be just stories from from real life uh, ups and downs and just everything and i'm a little bit nervous about the book because i feel like it's so personal it's i, I would say it's even more personal than the, these videos uh, i talk about a lot of things that i haven't talked about in the videos so um, I hope that you guys uh, are interested in that book uh, it's going to be out in November hopefully it's going to be in four languages so it's going to be uh, Norwegian obviously uh, English Spanish and German I'm really excited to to release the book and uh, and the author is also really cool uh, he's written a lot of books before and we're working together like every day now through the the whole summer uh, to make this book as good as it can be and I'm only planning on releasing one book, so I want this to be like a really good book. I mean, I'm definitely putting like my heart and soul into this. This is not something that we're just releasing uh, to get to to earn a lot of money or anything. This is 
I, I want this book to be good more than anything. So um, yeah, it's gonna be heartbreaking if, if people don't like it actually. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Do you want me to uh, show you the bullet? I guess you have no choice. I put on my shoes already. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the bullet. Yeah, I think you have to. Um, yeah, this is put on. Okay, yeah. yeah, let's yep. uh, brush it. Sorry, that was very, <laughs> very in the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess you start with here. Definitely that lower part, that's the hardest part. I look quite <laughs> difficult. <laughs> but okay, I'm There's gonna try. There's a lot try. of holes at least. Yeah, and I, and I need to trust my feet. That's the uh, scary part. So the beginning is the hard part. Okay. You just get through the beginning, you'll be fine. Nice, yeah. Come on. Now the tricky part. Yeah, challenge. you just have to get the next hole though, yeah. and then you'll be fine and just trust your feet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, get smash your feet. Yeah. Really nice. Come on. The next one is good. Come on. Nice. No! <laughs> oh, you had it. I really thought you were going to do it. So we didn't talk about the, the, like the competition format in the Olympics. So in lead climbing, that's a discipline that I competed in. And in lead climbing, every hole has a number and the person who gets the highest uh, wins. It's very simple, it's not about time. You have a time limit, but usually it's not about time. And in bouldering, it's uh, just about topping as many bowlers as possible in the least amount of uh, attempts. And you have five minutes on each bowler problem. Uh, five bowler problems, I think. I don't really know if it's four or five in the Olympics. And in speed climbing, it's very simple. It's about getting to the top of the wall as fast as possible. It's a standardized wall, so it's always the same, no matter where it is. There's no problem solving, you just run up the wall. The fastest guys do it in like five seconds. Th those are the, the three different disciplines, and they're all pretty uh, different. So you have to be good at everything at once. And I think for, for most of the climbers who who focused on the Olympics, they've kind of focused on speed climbing. I think it's the mo most like watchable part, don't you think? It's easy to understand, yeah. Yeah, it's easy to understand and goes fast. Yeah. It, I think it's interesting though, because when, when you combine those three, it's gonna be really hard for those who are professional speed climbers, I feel like, mm. like being good at the bowling oh, yeah, yeah. and the lead climbing compared to yeah. People who are usually people who are good at lead climbing are usually okay at like bouldering as well. Yeah, so. it's true. I think it's the easiest for the lead climbers to go from lead climbing to bouldering and then from bouldering to speed climbing. Yeah. For boulderers, it's hard sometimes with lead climbing because in bouldering you don't have the endurance part. You don't get pumped in the same way, and that takes a long time to build up. So you need a few years of lead climbing to to get that pump you need for for the big routes. So. But, but for exactly. speed climbing, that's the for the, for the speed climbers that they have the hardest time because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's speed climbing is very different. It's gonna be interesting to see who uh, who takes the victory, and it's also gonna be a lot a lot about nerves because this is I mean it's once every fourth year, and for a lot of the people competing in this Olympics, it's probably gonna be the one and only Olympics they're gonna compete in because uh, some of the competitors are getting pretty old. Like Adam Andre, is he good at speed climbing? You know uh, they've all practiced speed climbing, but okay. it's not really, I don't think it's going to come down to speed climbing. I think it's going to come down to lead and bouldering. Because mm. I think 
uh, both Jakob Schubert and Adam Ondra has the potential of winning both disciplines. Mm -hmm. And if you win lead and, and bouldering, it doesn't really matter how you do in speed, I think. Mm -hmm. Probably. Okay. So that, those are my predictions, but I might be completely wrong. I don't know. Are you going to give this another go? Sure, I can try. <laughs> I mean, you were so close. Yeah. yeah. Come on, you know what to do. Get the feet out. Come on. Nice, come on. Next one's good. Hi. No. Oh, sorry. When I'm touching the red hole, should I put out my left foot first? You should put out your left foot first yeah okay this time your left foot was like just underneath you but you should yeah. try to put it further out left oh because it would be really nice to do slab of the week so yeah i know that would be a personal victory for you yeah. come on yeah come on trust that left foot come on there yeah there you go no. That's Maybe we fine. can come back to tomorrow or something like that yeah. and try again. Okay. <laughs> um, we're going to end the video there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't checked out the split hanger yet, the link is in the description. You can either use it as a portable hangboard. You can also split it up and use it as slings. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.